How does free money and a very streamlined process to update your home to get it ready to sell sound to you? We wanted to briefly touch on a new program that we have as well through Keller Offers. And what that program is, is they're actually lending up to $75,000 at 0% interest for a year for someone to come in and make these improvements, get their home ready to sell and then be able to capitalize on on the value that they've been able to add. The best part about this program is is though it, it's a very streamlined, very easy process, but you don't have to worry about finding the contractor. Keller Offers has vetted contractors that they will bring into the home and they facilitate that to make sure that the work is done on time, it's done correctly, and it's done you know to a point where the home is gonna increase in value. Here are some improvements that we see that will make a big difference in the value of your home. One of the things I think you always hear is a fresh coat of paint. Absolutely, there's really not anything that can make a home look newer and more crisp than a fresh coat of paint. The only thing I would advise you on that is, is whenever painting a home, always go as neutral as possible, right? Your favorite colors may, be, may not be the next person's favorite colors, so neutral is king. Yeah, and we're seeing all white come back, right? All white is very, very common nowadays, especially with the parade of homes and building and new construction. It is what's popular today. Not only is it gonna look good, it does give the home a, a fresh smell as well. Right. When you walk in. And remember, you're doing this work to um, sell to the next person, not so much, you know, uh, recreate or, or establish your style. What are some other things that you can do? A minor bathroom remodel. So vanities, depending on the age of the home, when the last update was, is toilets are always fresh. Cleaning, grout, tile, things like that new flooring in your bathrooms very simple low-key projects usually cost effective and then from there I mean kind of one of the bigger ones that you hear about it is updating the kitchen kitchens is the focal point that's usually one of the first things that a buyer walks in when they see the home a lot of people like to entertain they have family over the, you know that certain you know whatever their lifestyle of uh, fun is that way so updating the kitchen from uh, depending on the style of cabinets can be as simple as just painting the cabinets um, freshen up with new countertops whether it's granite or quartz is is what's in right now and then updating your faucets, fixtures, things like that as well. So the next thing is the flooring, mm -hmm. right? So as you go into a home, especially if you have carpet in the house that's been there 10, 12, 15 years, it's starting to buckle or maybe there's some wear or some stains, that's probably one of the least expensive things that you can update is carpet mm -hmm. that's going to provide the most amount of return when, when putting the home on the market. Yeah, when you do carpet, I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of money. A lot of times, even if you wanted to upgrade the pad, it makes the carpet feel like it's a lot more expensive than what it is. Stay away from a little bit lighter carpets. That always scares a buyer, especially if they have kids or dogs, you know, because those are easier stained and not as easily cleaned. Basements. Um, you know, I would definitely consult on that one with building costs, you know, today, but updating your basement or finishing certain parts of your basements, uh, the magic number for bedrooms in Utah is five. Be sure that you're very careful with this, that we're going neutral again, that you're building it out to the masses. Be very considerate of who you're selling to as far as a quantity of people instead of just one particular buyer. The next thing that, that we do when we're, you know, remodeling homes to sell is really paying attention to the finishes or the fixtures mm -hmm. that you'd put in the property. You'd be surprised what a new chandelier or you know dining room table light, changing out you know some of the the older style fixtures with some updated ones. I mean, what that'll do for the impression of a buyer when they walk in the home. And with fixtures includes oftentimes doorknobs and hinges, faucets as well, and be consistent throughout the home. You know, replacing the front door or painting it. You know, at a minimum. But putting in an updated door, that can make, all of a sudden make, you know, as you come up to the home, feeling like it's a little bit more luxurious just because you have a different front door. Create some color contrast in your yard. If you've got flower beds, things like that, make sure the bushes are trimmed and well kept, and then fill those with a dark colored mulch to add just a little bit of more dimension and depth to your front yard, and then make sure that the trees are trimmed and the yard is cleaned and well swept up after. If you have a, a deck or a porch um, that, you know, the wood is rotted or anything like that, making sure that those things are taken care of mm -hmm. because you don't want people to come in and, you know, see that as a safety concern. Certain types of home loans um, also will do inspections on the safety and the structural ability of these as well. So uh, making sure that exterior paint, anything that's or wood on the home that is painted um, and is not exposed to the weather, these are things that you can get ahead of because FHA and VA programs will require that all wood on the 
exterior home. This does include sheds also. So don't overlook your sheds or your uh, detached garage to make sure that those are uh, crisp and updated as well as far as paint goes. You can turn your, your home into a smart home. Mm -hmm. You know, so a lot of the things that we're seeing are the ring doorbells or, you know, the doorbells that have the video cameras, the Nest thermostats or other smart things. So just really making your home smart can be very attractive to a lot of the buyers. These are very popular today. Everybody has an app on their smartphone that they can utilize to turn up their, their heat, their AC. Uh, and, and these things are more energy efficient as well. Um, just understand when you install these things and the buyer sees them, then they expect them to stay with the home. So don't buy them with the intention of taking them with you unless you let the buyers know this up front. Whether you're looking to stay in your home or actually sell it, Keller Offers is available. You can overspend when you're doing these, so make sure that if you're going to look to add value to your home, you talk with a real estate agent that can walk you through you know, some of the things that you should do. Because the other thing, definitely in this market, is you can also over repair or add things that you're never going to see a dollar back for. Well, in, in, in a competitive market where we're at today, honestly, some repairs aren't necessarily worth it. And that's why consulting with a good real estate agent will help because they can tell you what improvements you could make will actually make a difference in the sale and some that will not. So definitely um, spend some time and get a consultation done that way. So if you're looking to sell or have any questions about uh, this program or any updates that, that you're looking to do on your home, if you have questions, if it's going to really increase the value, make sure to give your Stern Team real estate agent a call and we'd be happy to help you.